condo. I've lived here for 11 years. And he loves it. It's two bedroom, two bath. Great, but the rest of this bachelor's bedroom needs help. We'll give it to him without spending any money. Chicago's Lincoln Park neighborhood is where Bob Kaufman has his condo. I've lived here for 11 years. And he loves it. It's two bedroom, two bath. Can you tell? He's a realtor. I have an enormous uh, balcony. It's about 65 feet long. The views of the skyline are absolutely incredible. There are sliding glass doors throughout his apartment, including the bedroom. I'm a little bit of a minimalist kind of uh, decorator, so I don't like things too, too crowded. Um, I like splashes of color. Um, here, which I've done a couple things, but again, I still feel it's a little bit, a little bit disjointed. He's tried moving the bed around. I uh, had it over here on this wall, which uh, I had heard, you know, feng shui doesn't, uh, should, said it shouldn't be there, so I, I moved it. And the TV is important. Thank God for the 30-minute timer. My dogs end up sleeping on uh, that. Probably very masculine furniture is what you, you see here. Our redesigner, Kelly Edge, agrees. You know what? This is a guy's bedroom. There's no doubt about that. You think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this the punishment part of the yeah, show? Yeah, you know, I just, it's, just, it's just typical guy thing. Sure, you know? it is. This room is huge and it's really blah. We've got to get some color in here. We've got to move this furniture around to fill up this empty space and really capitalize on Bob's gorgeous view of downtown. First, everything out but the bed. Kelly wants it in the corner. Angling a bed in a room this size is the perfect solution because it fills up the space without making it feel too cramped. I also like having the sofa opposite the bed. It helps to really balance the space. And actually, it works out absolutely perfect. So when I'm, when I'm not sleeping, I can see the skyline absolutely perfectly. Not only will the dogs enjoy it, but perhaps you would want to sit there and watch your TV a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah, that works. OK, okay great. Cool. So the TV goes in the corner. Here I like the TV for one reason. It's not floating in the middle of the room. <laughs> cool? <laughs> yes. OK. Still a guy's bedroom? It's still a guy's bedroom. OK, good. <laughs> We need to build up the sofa area. I notice you have this piece kind of sitting here. Yes. And I even like what's going on below it. Uh -huh. And I thought we might try this out okay. in your room. And a bench slash coffee table is just the thing. You know, that's not half bad. We find an extra side table and lamp in the office, and the room is starting to come together. Here's what I found on his storage. Bob's been holding out on us. I just haven't hung it up here or found a place for it or? Wow. The stuff you have now is nice art, but it's too boring. We need color in your room. <laughs> this is going to do hurt. it. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> we have a lot of white walls, so we're bringing in lots of pieces of art with a lot of color, and we're giving it a real punch. I probably just would put like one or two pictures in a room or, you know, one picture on a wall, but never, you know, we have, we have one, two, three, you know, seven pieces of art on the, on the wall, and that's, that's great. I love it. Bob didn't even think he had accessories, but we're finding them in the storage, in other rooms. We're getting them in here, we're placing them around, we're getting color, sophistication, and that finished look. This is how you make a bed decorator style. Oh, right? wait a second. I should be taking I should be taking notes. <laughs> this comes back. Pull yours real tight. Keeps out the evil spirits. Keeps out the evil spirits. <laughs> and there's a proper bed. Oh, yeah, that's a winner right there. Ah, Look at that view. That oh, is a view. And now the bed and the room are looking good. When we started, the arrangement was doing nothing for this room. You would walk in and look at the side of a couch, and the bed was not even looking at the view. But now, look how fabulous this bed looks. It's the focal point when you come into the room, and it's completely looking at the view. Absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. Obviously, the best uh, for me is I, laying in bed, I look straight at the Sears Tower downtown, the whole skyline. Um, I might not even be able to fall asleep, so <laughs> that might be a problem. It's like a pleasure to be in here. It's really nice. Next up, it's Trash to Treasure, and we'll keep your old blue jeans.